hello, hello. Everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you in advance, my love. Sorry, right, y'all. Ooh, my bad. That's a spiritual yawn. <laughs> Um, you already know what it is, my loves. Put your feet up. Get your shit. Get your shit. Get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we're about to make it do what it do. Okay. Let me get a swig of water. Okay, babies. I needed that. And we're going to jump into this Pisces read. All placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Please only take what resonates. Do not try to force it. If it does not fit, do not try to make it stick. Okay, guys? Personals are open. Tips and donations are greatly appreciated as this is my only source of income. Thank you in advance. The links for my shop, for the other um, YouTube channels, and as far as tips or donations are all down below. Pisces, all placements. What's going on? What do they need to do? What's the situation? Okay, so somebody's obsessed with you, babies. They say you taste sweet like donuts filled with the strawberry or the raspberry filling inside. <laughs> oh, you're a must have indulgence, okay? They say they're going to sprinkle you with a little powdered sugar, babies. <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. See, I thought it was somebody else. But it's a drama queen that's obsessed with you, honey. So look, look at the, on the bottom of the damn deck. This thirsty chaos causing MF is at the bottom of the deck. Obsessed with you. Why? Why are they obsessed with you? Tell me what's going on for my Pisces. What's going on? They're obsessed with you because they were, were not able to keep somebody entrapped. So somebody could have tried to entrap you with a pregnancy, entrap you with some type of money, or pull on your heartstrings. But you didn't fall for the trap. I feel like this is the same read I just did. Whoever this is, they may want to come chase you in hot pursuit. This could also be a third party that tried to trap somebody else in a connection. And they're now obsessed with you because whoever they tried to trap could be trying to come towards you as well. But whoever it is, they chasing, okay? They in hot pursuit. Let's get some more. Mm. Yeah, so this is someone who possibly thought that lust and the sexual chemistry that you guys had was going to keep you stuck. So somebody thought that they, they shit was so good that you wasn't going to, huh, digmatize your pussy whips. Okay. Yeah, they thought they had you stuck. They thought that, <laughs> they thought they was dicking you down. Or, you know, putting it on you so good that uh, you wasn't going nowhere, that you was obsessed, you was stuck. But uh, you proved this person wrong. This person is in denial, not facing the truth. They have this irrational reasoning. Yeah, they thought they had you. They thought they had you. They thought they had you right where they wanted you. Yeah, they possibly thought that you were going to chase them. They thought you was going to chase them, and you did not chase them. They thought that they sex was going to keep you. That that's all they had to give you, and it was enough that you would chase after them. And Spirit said they had a rational reason, and they could not face the truth. The truth of the matter is, you knew your worth. And you knew you was more than just this lust or this sexual desire or this chemistry here you want it more and you refuse to chase somebody if they didn't want to give it to you you let their asses go now this person feel like they they gotta have you so the energy they thought they had you trapped in this this um uh, once again uh pussy whipped or digmatized energy um, they're now stuck in that energy. Yeah, I told you they thought they had you trapped. Closed in, trapped, frustrated. They thought they had you trapped. I can't make that shit up. 
Now they wishing, yearning, and praying for you to come back. Now they wishing, yearning, and praying here, Pisces. Let's see. Let's pull the other situations. Tell us more. Okay, I keep hearing across the line, the police are going to that. Excuse me if my elbows and arms are in the way, but I'm too short and I don't feel like standing up. So we're going to use this. It's the nail cleaner, but it's my arm extension for now, y'all. <laughs> it's just the, the extra little bit of lift that I need. Because y'all know it's hot in Vegas. And I ain't got no bra on. And if I stand up... It's going to be 44 eyes all in the screen. I'm not trying to bust nobody's eyes right now, okay? So, excuse me if my arms is in the way while I'm trying to reach. Okay. And yes, I said 44 eyes. <laughs> okay. Clarify obsession for my Pisces. Yeah, see, whoever this is, they have these social sociopathic tendencies here. They like empathy, and they got some anger issues. And they're upset. They're upset because they were unable to trap you. Or this could be a third party that was trying to trap your person with sex, with lust, possibly with a baby. And it did not work. They had this irrational reasoning. They're a straight sociopath. Clarify entrapment, Pisces energy. Yeah, see, this person is craving your physical touch. See, they thought that you were going to crave their physical I'm telling you, they thought they had you stuck. And you didn't. You moved. You didn't chase them. That You were not stuck. Now they want to come back towards you because they're obsessed with you and they want to pick it back up. They want to pick up from how things were left. But I feel like it was a sexual connection here and you wanted more than sex. Yeah, this person was lacking empathy. They weren't showing any emotions. It was all sexual. Clarify desire. Now they're nervous. They, they're sitting at home by themselves, to themselves, in hermit energy. Trying to figure out how to come back towards you. Yeah, I told you. Ooh. Nervous as shit. Got the cards falling out my hand. This was the bottom card. Resurfacing. Re reappearing after a period of hiding. They, they want to come back. See, they thought you were going to chase them. I'm telling you, when, when they pulled away, I feel like I feel like you wanted more than just sex here, right? And this person only wanted to give you sex. And they felt like you were stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like they had, they had you hypnotized. You were stuck, right? with the physical and when you didn't fall for it when you didn't chase them they lost their minds now they in denial yeah lost love wanting to reconnect after a long period now they want to come back and they're nervous about reappearing because in the past they tried to trap you with just sex yeah they were not 100 in the past spirit said they was fake as fuck they was fake as fuck. Now they want to come in and build with you. Wants to build or start a family with you. When in the past, yeah, they were listening to whoever these people were. It was a conspiracy. Other people were plotting to keep you guys apart. So they were listening to whoever this was. Could have been a third party that was trying to trap them with a baby to keep you guys apart. So they only, they, they only wanted to have a sexual connection with you. It's different for everybody. So for some of you guys, they weren't trying to trap you with the baby. There was somebody trying to trap them with a baby, trying to hold on to them. Even though they wanted to come towards you, they, but they, they felt like all they could give you was sex. Nothing more. And they thought that was enough to keep you stuck. But they were in denial. 
Now this person, since you walked away, is obsessing over you. They can even be upset and angry. They're missing your physical touch. And they're nervous about coming back towards you and reconnecting here because of how they treated you in the past. We got the sun at the bottom of the deck. They're hoping that you say yes. They're hoping that luck is in their favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Pisces. I'm also picking up that whoever this third party is, if there's a third party, this third party could be the sociopath. This third party could be the one that's obsessing over you and um, the connection that you and your person have. This third party could be in denial because they thought sex was going to get them to keep this person or a baby was going to get to keep this person. And this person is leaving them coming towards you because they miss your physical touch. Because they want to reconnect with you after a long period of after dealing with whoever this third party was that tried to entrap them. Okay, which story is yours, Pisces, okay? If none of them are yours, that's fine. Clarify obsession, Pisces energy. Clarify obsession, Pisces energy. Nine of Swords, watching, stalking. Whoever this is, they're all in their emotions, their feelings, a lot of emotions, their feelings. So they may be doing a lot of crying in here. And they could be angry. Clarify entrapment in reverse. Yeah, so this person tried to make this person feel like it was a match. Two of Cups. That you guys have liked each other. I feel like you and your person liked each other as well. And they, and they possibly wasn't trying to tell you that they liked you. They possibly just wanted sex even though they felt something more. This physical touch could have been a match as well the physical chemistry was a match but I, I really feel like this third party tried to make your person feel like they were a match if it was a third party if this is your person they feel like you're their match and they're obsessed over you they're watching clarify desire yeah so this person is releasing the third party seven of wands Excuse me, three of swords, which is where the third party was. I wonder if y'all was wondering. Uh, they're releasing a third party, trying to get past the heartbreak, and wanting to let your guard down. Seven of wands. So this person wants you to let your guard down, and they're hoping you can get past the heartbreak, because they feel like it's a match. But I feel like you walked away from this connection. Game over. So yeah, this person thought... That because they felt like you guys was a match, like I said, they felt like you was stigmatized or pussy with, that you would not walk away from this connection. But you did. You put your guard up and you walked away because you possibly were heartbroken or, or refused to be in a third party situation. You were done playing the games. Game over. Now this person is watching. They're upset. Terrified sociopath. This emperor energy. They could be watching you, the Queen of Pentacles. So this masculine energy could be watching you. You could be out here focused on your money, getting it here. This also could be an emperor's wife, Queen of Pentacles' wife energy. So it could be the third party that's watching and stalking as well. She's obsessed. She's stalking because she felt like this emperor was her match. And the sex is no longer working. Your person is seeing through this person's game. If it's a third party situation and they're coming back towards you because they miss your physical touch. They're nervous, but they're coming to reconnect anyway because they feel like you're their match. If I embrace physical touch, come on. Hold on, let me get these off the floor. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
So I have Six of Swords in reverse. Judgment. So yeah, this person is no longer moving forward whatever this karmic energy is. They can feel like a fool. But they're no longer moving forward. They want to come take a leap of faith here with you. A new beginning. Because they once again, they're craving, craving your physical touch. They're missing you. Clarify nervous. You have Ten of Swords and Page of Swords. They stalking, they watching. There was betrayal here. This is why they're nervous. Because they're unsure if you're going to let them back in. Because they betrayed you. There's justice coming towards you here. They want to balance out the scales. I'm telling you, they could receive some type of karma here. If I lost love, Pisces energy, wanting to reconnect after a long period. Yeah, so this person is unsure if you're going to accept their offer here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. person also knows that you're not accepting any small offers if they come in towards you they got to come in with the whole nine yep ten of cups emotionally emotional fulfillment yeah or you'd rather be single or stable nine of pentacles they got to come in single stable and with this emotional fulfillment or you're going to remain single and stable you're not going to accept their offer They know the choices in your hands. Look, Knight of Cups, I'm back, bitches. But they're coming back. They're making a choice to come back towards you here. Six of Cups, yeah, returning from the past. They could be looking at your pictures. They could be pleasuring themselves to old pictures, replaying conversations in their head because they feel like you're their match. Even if in the past they felt like this other person was their match, they felt like they could have had, I keep hearing them, they could have, like, uh, I can't talk. Feel like they can have their cake and eat it too. They wanted to hold on to you sexually, right? And whoever this third party was, they could have been married, y'all. Queen of Pentacles is a wife, okay? Um, or someone they were in a committed relationship with. The emperor is a father or a husband. This could have been a baby's mother they were dealing with. This could have been their mother, okay? That didn't want them to come towards you as well. But for the most most part, I feel like this is a baby's mother that was trying to keep them attached, keep them stuck for money. You see, it's in reverse. This baby's mother tried to make this person feel like they were their soulmate. All they did was bring this person a bunch of heartache and pain. Okay? Stressed out, crying, obsessed, constantly watching, trying to see what was going on. And all your person wants to do is get out of this heartache, get past the blockages. Okay? They done playing games. With whoever this third party is, and they're ready to come back towards you here. Okay, they realize this, this person they were dealing with is a sociopath. And they've dealt with some type of karma. They were under judgment when it comes to this person. Now they feel like a fool, but they're no longer moving forward with this person. They want to come back towards you. They want to get past the betrayal that they had towards you. And they're watching, waiting for the right time here, Pisces, because they do want to reconnect. They are unsure if you're going to accept this offer, because I feel like you're in this game over energy as well. But they, they know that if they don't come towards you with emotional fulfillment and single, you're not even going to hear nothing they got to say. Yeah, because in the past, I feel like they were in this playboy, playgirl energy. Yeah, they want victory and success here with you. Somebody might have an OnlyFans, fan, an OnlyFans page as well. But Six of Wands, they're coming in for victory and success. They may be watching you on the, on the web. They're coming back as the King of Wands. Gaining their stability. Leo, Aries, Sag energy here. You got Aries, Taurus energy here. Yep. It's somebody you walked away from or they're walking away from this third party. Five of Cups, leaving them out in the cold. Bye, bitch energy. Coming back towards you because they feel like it's a match. They realize that this is some type of karmic energy. This person was not their match. 
Yeah, they headed towards the Pisces, the chariot and the queen of cups. Can't make it up. They headed towards you, baby. Eight of pentacles to put the work in. They headed towards you to put the work in here, Pisces. One final for Pisces, all placements. Pisces. Final message is really my Pisces need to know when it comes to this person, this connection. Yeah, this person was at a crossroads, torn between more than one path. They were stuck between you and whoever this baby's mother or baby's father is that was making them think that they was their soulmate, that they was their person. And they were stuck between you trying to hold on to you just with sex, thinking they could keep you stuck, you know, digmatize or pussy with. Nope. Pisces. Tell me more. Yep. They are now walking away from this third party. A temporary or permanent break is necessary for the souls to grow. I feel like you walked away from this person and, and you allowed this person to go be with whoever this other person was, right? Because they couldn't make a choice. Now that they're with this person, they are seeing the truth. And they're walking away from this connection and making plans to come back towards you. Getting organized, having your ducks in a row before you make any moves. So they're making a choice. They're walking away from whoever's baby's mother or baby's father is that was trying to keep them trapped or stuck. They're making plans to come towards you. The game is done. It's over here. They're no longer listening to these third parties here. Yeah, whoever they were dealing with was insecure. They were struggling with limited thoughts and feelings. And they tried to play, play on your person's insecurities. Maybe your person's afraid of rejection. Okay? But they do want to come toward you because they feel like this is an intense connection. This is a deep con con connection here. Tell me more Pisces energy. Yeah, see, you cut this person off <laughs> because they were in this I love you both energy. They could make a choice. So you said boundaries. Boundaries have been enforced. Love triangle. Unable to make a decision. You're no longer in this energy, y'all. They made a decision. I told you. They tried to just have, keep you stuck. They thought sex was enough. I can't make this shit up. They thought sex was good enough to keep you stuck. Because they didn't want to choose. So they wanted their cake and wanted to eat it too. And you cut that ass off. You was like, no. Now this person is seeing some type of truth about whoever they were with. Yeah, they can't do this. They're, wearing, they're waving a white flag. They're done. They're no longer going to let their fear and anxiety get in the way of what they truly feel. They stay with this third party out of fear and anxiety. Not because they were in love with this person. Because they felt like they were not good enough for you. They allowed their insecurities to send them back down a road that was toxic. And possibly because they have kids, they have love for this person. You know, I'm not going to say that they don't. Say I love you both. But you loved yourself more here, Pisces. And you walked away. Now they're making plans to come back towards you. Can't find this making plans. Pisces energy. Yeah, because they want you. There is no desire to be with anyone other than you, Pisces. Now they're ready to talk. Communication will bring more clarity. Bottom of the deck, grateful. You are exactly where you're supposed to be, so be thankful for the now. The collective, you are right where you're supposed to be, so be grateful for the now. Your person don't want you to leave, and whoever their third party is, the third party don't want them to leave them. Okay? But your person is not going to let you walk away. They're going to come back towards you here. And they're going to tell you it wasn't you. It was them the whole time. There was some inner work that needed to be done. They had to heal these insecurities. Now they want to come back in and celebrate with you. A joyous occasion or event will take place very soon here, Pisces. Yeah, this person is finally taking their mask off. The true self is being projected to the outside world. They can't hide it anymore. 
They can't hide how they feel for you. They can't hide the fact that they're missing you. They're obsessing over you. They cannot hide the fact that they are over this third party. Whether they got children with this person or not, they are done. They, they're waving the white flag. And when they return, they're coming back single and stable, looking for emotional fulfillment with you here. They could be arguing over there. Y'all hear the kids arguing in the background? I'm going to pull three cards, three time period cards I heard. Three from this deck, okay? So three from this deck. Let's see. Time periods when this is taking place, spirit. When is this taking place here? This separation. This person come out the mask. This person ready to talk. How long? One more. So let's see what we got. So for some of you guys that's watching, this not your reading. Your person's not coming back, okay? For others of you guys, it may be in January when they return. For others of you guys, it may be 18 months. When this person returns. They told me three from the other deck. So I'm getting six time periods then, okay guys? So you should get a personal to see which one is yours. For some of you guys, it's going to be um, that long because they are married to this person and they have to get a divorce. January or 18 months because they are married and they got to get a divorce. So that is why... It's taking that long. For others of you guys, how long is it going to take for this person to come in, be ready to talk, be ready to give a commitment to the Pisces? Three cards, two, I heard one more. Three. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be Tuesday next week or a Tuesday in three weeks. Um, For some of you guys. For others of you guys, it's going to be either nine to ten weeks. Or 9 to 10 months at the most. What's January? January ain't even 9 to 10 months. We had August, September, October, November, December, January. January is only 5 months. So I'm feeling weeks with these. So okay. Thank you, Spirit. So 9 to 10 weeks for some of you guys here. How about the 9 to 10 months, Spirit? For a very small few of you, it may be 9 to 10 months. But for sure, I'm getting 9 to 10 weeks, January, 18 months. It could even be 9 to 10 weeks on a Tuesday. Or it could be Tuesday coming up, guys. It's at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck, I have 7 days. Determining the circumstances, 7 weeks at the most. So 7, 9, 10 weeks. Something can be happening for you guys in 7 days on a Tuesday. But for a lot of you guys, it's still going to be a while for this person to return. Especially if they're still in this connection. They're just now getting out. For others of you, they're ready to talk right now. And when they return, they will be single and stable. So like I said, some of these people are married. They have to go through the divorce. And whoever they're divorcing is not trying or is not going to make it easy. They're going to give this person a hard-ass time. Okay? So they may not want to sign the papers or something like that, okay? they Like, this person's going to have to go and um, petition the court. Because this person is, is going to try to hold up the divorce if they're married. Just because they don't want this person to leave. They don't want this connection to be over. So for others of you, and they told me to reiterate it, so I'm going to say it again. Please get a personal because some of you guys are waiting for somebody to return back and they're not. This is not your person. And you're waiting on somebody that's not coming back. That's not supposed to come back. And you're keeping yourself stuck and stagnant because you're waiting on somebody who never was supposed to return. So even if you don't get a personal with me, guys, please, you already, already know, get it from somebody that you trust. 
We're going to put some zodiacs and we'll close this read out. First card we have is Capricorn. We got Scorpio. Sagittarius. Take one. So we have Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, and then water popped out as well. So Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Libra, and one final for this particular read. We got Aquarius, bottom of the deck, we got air. So air, water, and Earth for sure. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have Sagittarius. It's the only fire. Okay. So if it resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.